Hi everyone. So I um, started a course for Python GUI development and I need to install PyQt and use Python 3.4 and then PyCharm for, for the course as my tools and I spent most of my weekend trying to install PyQt. Essentially in a nutshell I needed to install a lot of other things before I could actually run the installation for PyQt and SIP. So I've browsed, like I said, a lot of blogs, forum posts and did a lot of research and built my own document on how to install all this on uh, Ubuntu 15.04. I'm using Ubuntu GNOME 15.04. So I'm going to run through the steps quickly on how to install PyQt. I uh, need to use Qt4 and in the next video I will show you how easy it is to install and run PyChop. Mm, sorry about that. So what you want to do is go to riverbankcomputing.com go to software, PyQt, PyQt4 download now I've already downloaded this package here, the PyQt X11 GPL 4.11.3 so you want to download that. If you look here at the top before you can build PyQt4 you must have already built and installed SIP and this is where most of my headaches came in as I just battled to install SIP and I couldn't figure out how to do things and research and I managed to figure it out so I'm going to show you so click on SIP that will take you to the download download those packages. Next thing you want to do open the terminal and I had to install Python 3.4-dev for some other reason and then I also had to install build-essential to get my make file and make install and all that going and working properly so the first thing you want to do is install sudo apt get install Python 3.4 dev, which I've already done, and then I screwed up my previous video, which I started. But let's go through the motions. Put in your password, so as you can see, it's already there. So you just say yes, you want to download it, install it, and the next one you want to install is the build essential. So you run sudo apt get. install build that's essential so that's been installed apparently as well okay great so that's what you want and then you've got a few libraries which I also figured out later in the weekend that I needed which made life a lot easier so I'm going to type them out sudo apt get install qt4 dash dev dash tools in space and you want lib qt for dash dev libqt4 dash core libqt4 dash core and then libqt4 dash GUI. Alrighty, so let's run that. Yes you want to download it and install it so I'm just going to pause the video because this will take a while and I want to try and keep the video as short as possible okay so now it's unpacking everything and getting everything ready okay that's all done so if all my steps are correct I should be able to install SIP so what you want to do is go to your download so I've downloaded it in my downloads folder so we want to extract SIP so I was going to say extract here while we add it let's just extract the PyQt package 
it's all done. Now we want to browse to downloads or wherever you've downloaded the package and extracted it and you want to then let's just see what was it S change directory sip so you change directory to your sip and then dash whatever version you you've downloaded this could change in future and if I sound very boring, I apologize. It's been a long day and I'm hopefully not going to fall asleep on you all. Mm. So what we want to do now is run sudo. Let me show you list. You want to run where's this configure.py but I need to run it for Python 3.4 so I'm going to run sudo Python 3.4 configure dot pi and it seems to be working because this is where I was stuck for a long time. Now you want to run sudo make and this is where I needed to install the build essential because it would not run this command and it's working. So it looks like my, uh, my steps are all in order. Now you want to run sudo make install. And this is all just for the sip stuff. Okay, cool. Now you want to browse back to your Qt directory which mine is by Qt x11 gpl 4.11.3 so just make sure you browse to the version you've downloaded so we basically do the same for the Qt package so you go sudo python and I'm using 3.4 configure.py And yes, because we obviously read the license agreements as always. <laughs> so this took a while if I remember correctly, so I'm just going to pause the video just to keep it short. Okay, cool. Now you want to run sudo make. This is to install the Qt package. let it do its thing so this runs a while uh, I'd suggest go get a cold drink, a beer, make some coffee something like that sit back wait for it to finish now that you've drank half your beer, half your cold drink probably most of your coffee the last step is to go sudo make install And that's it. You've just installed SIP that was required for PyQt4, and you've just installed PyQt4. Hope this was helpful. I struggled a lot and decided well, let's do a step by step, exact step by step guide how to get this working with the missing stuff that I had to install like the Python 3.4-dev, the build essential and the Qt4 dev tools library stuff, the GUI core and all that stuff and <coughs> thanks for watching it's quite a long video hope this was this is helping someone out there I struggle like I said most of the weekend managed to get it working and here's a proper nice guide on how to install PyQt4 on Ubuntu 15.04 or Ubuntu GNOME 15.04 which I'm using. Thanks guys, thanks for the support and chat to you soon.